In this video, we'll discuss congenital hypothyroidism, a cretinism. Congenital hypothyroidism may be transient or permanent. So what are the causes of transient congenital hypothyroidism? Children are born to mothers with iodine deficiency, especially if mother has TSH receptor blocking autoantibodies or she received antithyroid drug. Permanent congenital hypothyroidism is due to thyroid agenesis or dysgenesis in most cases, 80 to 85 percent, or number two, inborn error of thyroxine synthesis and number three TSH receptor mutation and number four iodine deficiency. Iodine deficiency is the most common cause of preventable mental retardation and what about mild iodine deficiency? Mild iodine deficiency can lead to subtle changes in IQ. How cretinism causes mental retardation? Thyroxine is essential for normal synapse development and myelination. In hypothyroid infant, synapse develop abnormally and myelination is defective and mental development is seriously retarded. Mental changes are irreversible if replacement therapy is not begun soon after birth. Thyroxine is essential for normal growth and skeletal maturation. In cretins, bone growth is slow and epiphyseal closure is delayed. It occurs in 1 in 4,000 newborn. And what are the clinical features of cretinism? Infants appear normal at birth. There is difficult Difficulty in feeding, hypotonia, prolonged jaundice, large tongue, and umbilical hernia. Large tongue also occur in Down syndrome where there is mental retardation also. And concomitant selenium deficiency may also contribute to neurological manifestations of cretinism. Other congenital malformations are four times more common, especially the cardiac abnormalities in cretins. So what's the BMR? In athyroidic humans, BMR may fall to about 40. Diagnosis and treatment. The neonatal screening is mandatory to prevent the cretinism, which is due to iodine deficiency. It is done by measurement of TSH or T4 in heel prick blood test lifetime thyroxine treatment with T4.